Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And every morning, I get on the internet and I search for things for my show. Books, radios, um, either on like eBay or Amazon, or just in general on the internet, looking for stuff for review that uh, maybe you would be interested in. And I ran across this on Amazon. Usually this time of year, Amazon has some pretty good deals in that, like most retailers, they're trying to clean out their old stock to make room for new stuff for the coming uh, winter sales. And so it's always a good time to search through Amazon to see what they might have on sale. And one of the things I look for is I'll search for uh, a particular subject like on this one I searched for Grundig shortwave and it came up with several listings and this is one of them that caught my eye and the reason it caught my eye is down here there are used and new ones for $84 and this normally sells for $130 now I've been wanting to get this radio this is the Eaton um, one of their newest radios, Eaton, of course, brought Grundig and now puts their name along with Grundig on their radios. And many of their radios are like the old Grundig radios with updated features. And this particular one uh, has Bluetooth added so that you can uh, have it uh, transmit to a Bluetooth speaker in another part of your room or in your workshop or whatever. So that's the advantage. And, and this is, if you look at it closely, it looks very familiar to some of the older versions of the E10 radios. And like I say, I've been wanting to get one of these to try it out and give you a review of whether it's a good or bad radio. Um, but it's, like I say, it's quite pricey. It's $130. And... It has not been getting very good reviews. Um, and I think it may be because, I'm guessing here, it may be because people were expecting more out of it since it's a fairly new radio. Well, the problem is it's basically the old radio with Bluetooth. So it's really nothing really new, new. As you can see here, it only gets 3.7 stars out of 5, which is not too bad. But what I do, I usually look down here at the bottom at the percentages of 2 stars and 3 stars. Add those together, which is 9 and 13, which gives me 22% of people didn't like this radio. That's kind of a high number. But then if you compare it to the... Five stars and four stars, which gives you a total of 67. It's a pretty good number. So it's kind of on the on the edge there, being a good bad radio. Um, so I like I said before, I noticed that they had some new and used for 85 dollars. That's down there in the range where I could use some of my Amazon credits that I've gotten from my Amazon store and purchase this. So I clicked on this to see where those are coming from. Well, the top, ooh, one, two, three, all, most of them, wow, goes down all the way down to here. All of these come from the Amazon, I'll call it used store, which means they have been purchased and returned for some reason. And you can see out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, six uh, entries here, they're all, well, I take that back, five entries, they're all from the, where, where, uh, the warehouse deals, which is an Amazon warehouse for return goods. And then you kind of look at the very generic uh, description. Let me just do a read more here. Some cosmetic perfections. 
Yeah, okay. And the packaging will be damaged, which means it was probably opened. So, you know, is it really worth taking the risk? Uh, my understanding, and I really not, I think I bought, well, maybe a half a dozen things from the warehouse deals, and they've all turned out to be fine. Um, let me look, let me check right here. This is what we're interested in, return policy. Okay, da, 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 return in 30 days. I was trying to see if there was a special policy for these used items from Amazon. And I'd see it. So I will check on that. But um, I think, and don't hold me for it, to it, I think if you buy one of these from the Amazon warehouse store, you get the same return policy that you get if you bought it brand new. I think that's the case. Um, so I might go ahead and opt to get one of these. I'm going to go back. And once again, research this radio and see uh, what the complaints were. I know the original radio before this one, I can't remember the model number, and I've reviewed it. Um, oh, I think it was called the field radio. These switches right here, these two switches right here, were kind of loosey-goosey. They weren't, you know, definite clicks. They're kind of loosey. They worked fine, but you were just kind of wobbly. And I think on the previous version, this big tuning knob was a little wobbly. Other than that, I think they worked fine. They have a lot of features. You can go back and review my shows on the predecessor to this, which is the only difference that I can see is this one has the Bluetooth transmitter built in. So I'm really, I'm really on the fence about getting one of these. If you have purchased one of these and you have some experience that you would like to share, we, me and my subscribers, would love to hear from you. Um, oh, I think, well, oh, that's interesting. Oh, I must have. Oh, okay. They got this. They got several models here. So I have to be a little careful in that I'm pointing to the right model, which is this one here uh, that I came to. Let me just, for the heck of it, this is one. This is radio I've got. I've had it for about three years. Um, I love this radio, but the, it, the price has gone out of sight. I think it was like. When I got it, which was given to me by one of my subscribers, it was about two fifty nine. It now has gone out of sight. Let's just click on this for a moment and see if they have. Yep, they have some used ones, and and it's in the Amazon warehouse. So they're clearing out their stock stuff that has been returned. So. You know, buyer beware, but you might get a good deal here from Amazon on a piece of returned equipment. That's it. If you enjoyed my show, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great day. Bye-bye.